Hello there, I'm Boo, or Jamie, and I like drawing, maximizing my hours in all the Pokemon games to find shinies, and I like to complain about lore in World of Warcraft. Alright, sexy man, give me that sword. If I can't have the mount, I want the sword. You know the rules. Oh, and I forgot my army. Hello, 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 and welcome back to a new episode. I am absolutely shocked to report that I did not get the sword from Agrimar, but uh, no biggie, as always. And I forgot my army again. <coughs> Bam, absolute nothing. Who would have thought? And I also pressed the wrong button. Ah, oh, jeez, I'm just gonna teleport out. And once again, I got disconnected while teleporting to Argus. That is absolutely no biggie. I mean, I mean, happens all the time, right? In any case, if any of you were wondering where this whole section was last week, I even recorded it, but I always forgot to put it into any of my videos. Yeah, you will be very shocked to know that no, we did not get the mount at all. So you missed me being disappointed five times in a row. But don't worry, because right now you're gonna watch me being disappointed five times in a row, so I think that's also fine. Give me a sword, oh baby, give me a sword. Come on. I'm pretty sure that should he drop the sword, I would get it without even looting him. So uh, yeah, I think the disappointment is already always there and I'm just clutching the loot, hoping that maybe, maybe we're gonna get lucky, but we're gonna get lucky now, right? Um, no. No, no, we're not getting lucky. All right, this time I teleported to the Vindicar on the Antoran Wastes, but it also disconnected me. So yeah. It's just disconnecting city out here. There's something so satisfying about just throwing ginormous glacial spikes at enemies. And maybe I have to give Frost another try. And wow. Wow, wow, wee wow. Let's get out of here. All right, let's see if we get disconnected uh, once more. Oh, looks good. Never mind. <laughs> It, it doesn't look good. Nope. <laughs> oh no. Will this just happen all the time from now on? All right. Sword time. Hmm. Okay. No biggie. Because now is mount time. Okay. Then next week is mount time. Alrighty, guys. And after we so successfully didn't get a mount or sword, we're gonna do it. We're gonna look at the new trading post because it is the 1st of June. And we have new stuff. First of all, let's pick up our leggy traders tenders, 500. I think, yeah, we have almost 2k. So maybe we can splurge this month. I have no idea what we're gonna get. I mean, it is Pride Month, so I expect something rainbowy. But let's see. All right, first of all, oh, oh, okay, 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 okay. What is this? A goblin wave shredder? <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. Can't say I hate it. I love that the stealth animation is in use here. That always looks so cool on female blood elves. But uh, it might look a bit stupid on others because it always makes the blood elves look so cool and everyone else is just awkwardly standing on top of mounds like this. But uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't hate it. I don't hate it. We we start with a banger. All right, a riding turtle. Um. Okay, so this is just like the turtle you get from fishing but in a different hue I guess a different color it's okay but I don't have to waste my tenders on this because I already got a turtle like that uh, the sword and shield oh is this from a class no this is just an arsenal like this everyone can use this apparently okay yeah I mean not crazy about it gotta be honest I'm not the biggest fan of orange but uh, I bet there are some people out there pretty happy about this one um, what is this <laughs> Sunny tropical beachwear. Okay, okay, okay. I mean, I love the belt. The belt is definitely worth. Um, everything else I'm not that crazy about, especially because the stuff is only drawn on two, except for the floral necklace, I guess. And 650 tenders is a bit much, not gonna lie, for a set that once again only consists of five pieces. And apart from the belt and like this floral chain, is not that groundbreaking. <laughs> it's a bit crazy with like the burnt skin of my demon hunter, but sure, sure. Tropical swimwear. Oh, this on the other hand, this I can get behind. I mean, I wish that, uh, I wish the head and the glasses would be disconnected from one another. I mean, I get this a lot more than this, not gonna lie. Uh, but again, 650 tenders. Uh, okay, this is a pet. I usually ignore pets, especially if they look like that. A water cannon. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, that's cool. Does it shoot water though? Doesn't really show you, huh? Because, and I say this every single time a new trading post comes around, most guns and bows and crossbows don't have special animation. Animation? Animation. Animation. Animation? Wait, how do you pronounce that word again? They don't have special ammunition. <laughs> and if this doesn't shoot water, but uh, bullets, I am going to be very disappointed. But uh, yeah, thankfully they don't show us. I mean, it's only 330 tenders, but you have to transmog it to see it and then you can't give it back. So, uh, hmm, well, I will just ask around. Or maybe someone in the comments will already know. Aha! And here we have the belt on its own for 220 tenders. Um, that's kind of rough. <laughs> oh, and we also have... Oh, so they did again the thing where they first give you an entire set and then they give you the set broken apart in pieces and it's a lot more expensive but if you have a special piece then you can just buy that the goggles bug out if you look at it from a certain angle interesting all right here we have the colorful beach chair uh, i saw that it was ruffling some feathers well i'm sorry guys the queer community is here to stay and i also love these little trans colors here i mean i already have a beach chair i have the one from the fishing achievement i don't even know how i got it to be honest but uh, this is a maybe ah another one of these i know that we have a lot of them now right because i bought one because someone was recommending it that it's kind of cool for trans smoking purposes oh yeah that's pretty okay 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 don't hate it yeah this is not my style this on the other hand i think i will buy this <laughs> i'm a simple man okay and that looks real cool all right trunks and ah this one yeah 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 what are these um oh a recolor of like i think a lot of dreno weapon yeah 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 not crazy about it. Uh, these I'm also not crazy about. Uh, and more of those. I and both in colors I really don't care much for. And what is this? Hands. Yeah. I just wanted to say like this is these are demon hunter icons from like well not necessarily demon hunter set but it's like from legion and it looks different on demon hunters it's like a leather set but this is cosmetic right so everyone can wear it yeah oh and a bamboo stick i see mhm mm mhm mm mhm mm and another sash and sandals and oh hands oh this is for the hands and it's just like these little beads well, that's kind of nice. Honestly, 40 tenders. I'm gonna buy that one. <laughs> this is gonna be my first buy in this trading post. Uh, yeah, I gotta say, I'm not crazy about the sandals, especially because I'm just realizing, oh my god, they did it again. This is from the old feet. Like, if you look at my feet, that is kind of upsetting to see because this is like how they did feet when they didn't know how to uh, do armor without painting it on. Because as you might might know with all the new feet that show your toes and stuff they're not drawn on and this is from the old times and it's very upsetting they also did this for the night fey armor by the way in shadowlands and that was very upsetting to see and they never fixed it it's still drawn on to toes and it looks really bad and I can't believe that this new set also has the same stuff going on. I hope they fix this. Honestly, make a ruckus about this because this is not okay. And um, really lame painted on wristbands. Okay, okay, okay. Ooh, the corrupted blade first. I mean, I would buy it if it wouldn't be so expensive. Especially looking at a maybe life as an enhancer. This, this, this could be cool. But uh, they're way too expensive, sorry. And these things. Yeah, I'm not crazy about these. So are we. And an ugly dagger. Okay. And stuff that I already have. I gotta say, I like most of the stuff here. It's really upsetting that the toes are painted on. Please fix this. This is horrible. This is not acceptable for a new set on the training post. But um i think i already said this for the last trading post i wish there would also be other stuff that maybe isn't all just tropical and summer themed but i just hope that once we're out of like the april may june july august <laughs> months that we maybe also get something else again that isn't spring or summer themed um yeah we shall see but to be fair i I don't, I don't really know what to buy yet, so um, <laughs> let's just move on, I guess. Oh yeah, what is the, what is the monthly? Oh, 
A toy? Oh, okay, so this gives you the water gun, but as a toy, and then you can probably shoot water at other people that also have the toy, or just, okay. Gotta say, um, I'm never a big fan if you have a toy or a pet as a monthly reward. I feel like it should always be a full transmog set or something close to that. And not only because I love transmog, but also because I feel like uh, everything else is always just like, okay, cool, that's not a lot. <laughs> well, anyway, that was the trading post. I really want to know what you guys are celebrating about it because um, I gotta say, don't hate it. I mean, I'm also not crazy about it. I like the mount, gotta say, so I might splurge a little bit on that. But I think for now, I will just hold on to my 10 Ds and see what will uh, tickle my fancy this June and if I wanna spend any on it. And we're back in the past in Miss of Pandaria, the remixed version. Well, it's been a few days since you last saw my character. We have made it to level 70 by now. And I also got a few more of the raid runs done. I did a few dungeons and scenarios and all that kind of jazz. And today I thought I'd just take you along while I do all the daily stuff that you can do with, you know, well, the dungeons and the raids and the scenarios <laughs> and the dailies. I actually really enjoy doing my dailies in Mr. Pandaria. I mean, not that any of that is groundbreaking because I already usually do that in retail as well, but uh, hey, obviously it feels a little bit more rewarding here because you get player power and you can buy transmog with that and yada yada yada. Oh yeah, and also we got these very nice toys that finally, finally, finally give you the appearances of the legendary cloaks again. I'm so happy to see them back in the game, but you know what I'm not happy about? Watch out, because I always have something negative to say. This is only personal, like people around you cannot see this effect and I know I probably shouldn't care so much about that, but I do. I wish wish that, um, yeah, that it would have been just like it was in Pandaria and everyone could see the procs of everyone else. Wouldn't that be nice? But um, apparently not. So uh, I accepted all the dailies here for the dungeons and stuff. And before we're gonna start our little adventure, I'm gonna invite my fiance because I think she wants to tag along. And while we are waiting in the queue, as one usually does, we will travel to a few parts in Pandaria that I like to do my daily set. I like to aid the anglers and the sun reavers and also the august celestials because those are the fractions that are actually a little bit harder than the others to get to exalted because first of all they don't have that many dailies and also they don't give you an abundance of reputation as some others do and yes by the way you're seeing this right I'm using dragon flying. I kind of like it in this mode. I don't really know why I think the vigor is recharging faster which makes the whole experience much more enjoyable in my humble opinion. But also this is one of the few dragons that I actually really like. I know most people don't like him because he's a little grandpa, but I feel like with the infinite scales, almost every dragon looks amazing. And I also think that he fits with my orc lady really well. And now we're gonna go into a scenario. Let's see which one we get. Oh, that is the one with the monkeys and the brew. Yeah, 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 I remember. All right, let's scream a little hey, hey into the void because uh, just because this is a different than retail mode doesn't mean that people are in any shape or form more prone to talk to you and let's start killing monkeys I guess wait do we have to go this way I think we do I think I'm gonna put a little marker on brewmaster bow so we know where we have to walk to and also I love this bug when the offhand of the doom hammer is still visible on my hip that only happens, I think, if I have a Wind Fury proc at the end of a combat. That's, I think, at least what's happening and what's causing this. But uh, yeah, when it happens, I'm a really happy boy. We will have to gather all this Unga mug, but also we'll have to keep an eye on Bo because he's gonna get attacked by pirates all the time. So I think my fiance is just gonna stay down there and protect the man. Yeah, there is a zip line here somewhere. Oh, and here's a boss. Okay, okay, okay. Hiya. Oh yeah. You can't catch me, guys. Whee! And they're trying to be very sneaky, but uh, I have eyes, so 
I caught that. Our warlock friend with the unfortunate name is definitely gonna get some more brew, right? I'm getting taunted by all the enemies back there on the ship that I also want to loot for the Bronx. Kapow! Very, very successful. Now I'm gonna run over there and loot the enemies. And then we're gonna wait for our next invitation. Alrighty, let's get ready to get boosted by some level 10 old through this dungeon, which is usually the case. Yep, there is... The <laughs> The character is Boost Babel. All right, that is um, I, I I get that. Let's see Boost Babel. Yeah, and, and she's also level 20. Yeah, this is I mean you probably know this already, but uh, this is what people do now. They do a test account character because they're stuck on level 20, and you're pretty powerful on level 20. And then they just they buy the trinkets and the rings that you get from the achievements. They socket their characters, and then they just boost either their own characters on a different account or their friends characters through the dungeons because you're just so ridiculously overpowered on level 20. That's what's happening in most heroic instances. And Berbel is a very common but a little bit old-timey German name which obviously goes along very well with the name Boost since it's both starting with a B. And I was also in a group like that with a person that had created a test account character and they were just running, zooming actually through the dungeons. We had a lot of fun in the chat, so that was nice. And also obviously these people cannot wait for the rest of the group to arrive, so you know. More often than not, you stand in front of closed doors, but uh, not to worry because uh, oh, apart from the fact that we obviously also pulled this group, we should also be able to loot the boss inside, which is very important because that boss, and I'm not sure if that's also the case in the remix version, but that boss can drop a tabard, the tabard of the Scarlet Crusade to be exact. And apart from the fact that tabards are always cool, with this tabard, if you have it on a male or a plate character, you can also buy yourself a special transmog set on the Darkmoon Fair. It's very important that you have the tabard on the character that you want to buy the stuff on though, because otherwise the vendor will not talk to you. I'm just accepting the fact that I will forever have to run after some level 20 tunes, so I'm just killing the trash they left standing, because why the hell not? And yeah, I would say that is rather the, let's not call it ugly side of Remix, but it's a uh, uh, it's a very interesting thing that just happens if Blizzard doesn't know how to balance stuff. Uh, yeah, and Boost Babel also wants to run another time, but I think... Okay, 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 never mind. All right, we're doing it because uh, if my fiancé wants to do it, then of course we're doing it. And we're gonna go into the other part of the Scarlet Monastery. Hell yeah, let's go Boost Babel. Do what you were created to do. I gotta say, I don't really get why people do that, like the level boosting. Like unless it's a character that you wanna play for the raids in this mode, I guess, but also why? I mean, yeah, to get more bronze, but also don't you get enough from the leveling and the quest? Oh, the questing, yeah, people don't wanna quest, all right. I, I always forget that people don't wanna quest, but like, it's not like you can speed level a character here and then immediately transport them to retail because uh, we're stuck in here. Oh no, do I have to? Okay. I don't have to because the other day there was a daily that you had to fish up here at the temple of the red crane and the surrounding waters and I don't know what they broke but they definitely broke something because I was not getting any fish nor was I getting any bronze I was just getting nothing from fishing there and I fished there for I think half an hour and only got one quest item so I think it's safe to say that whatever is happening over there maybe it's also a Amazing issue. They're not getting any loot. Well, would you look at that? Galleon is up and nowhere there to kill him. 132 million, huh? I'd say let's attack him. Every day I get excited about mail and then every single time it's just another tuft of yak fur. Fun fact, while you're on this quest to shoo away these small skyscreamers, you have a chance to get a blue one in return and shooing that one away is one of the many, 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 many achievements from the Isle of Thunder. Although I've warned you, this might take some time. <laughs> 
You might do a lot of shooing before that one shows up. Just so you know. Also, I don't know if that can even happen in this mode because there are a lot of things that are not possible in this mode that you would think are possible and um, they're not. So there's also that. Maybe not the best time to try it right now, but in retail, I can tell you there is no one here that can steal your thunder, literally. Ooh, but for all our troubles, we found a trove of the Thunder King. So that's cool. Awkward waiting for them to capture one of the dinosaurs again so I can free the dinosaur. Just as a word of advice, if you do this quest in retail, then make sure to not one-shot all of these guys because uh, then the quest doesn't count. And it probably also doesn't count here if you one-shot them. <laughs> Also, also, don't forget to use your Sun Reaver or Kirin Tor Beacon to just teleport back to the main hub on the Thunder Isle. It only works on the Thunder Isle and it's also hidden in your toy collection, but uh, it might save you a lot of travel time every now and then. Also, as little news on the oh my god, I need this current shaman set from Dragonflight ASAP news. I am currently leveling up my little Volpera shaman that you saw in one of my other videos. And I will hopefully finish that even before the next weekly reset so I can already gather a few items to convert them into what I think is exactly this set for the current season. I hope that people voted for that one at least. I mean, if you didn't vote for this set but instead voted for this set, then I don't really know how to help you. And another one of these achievements, if you get this very annoying buff from these electrocution this one that makes you all lightningy and loud if you gather 10 of them and then kill the mob for the quest you also get an achievement i think my favorite little piece of uh weird hotfixes that Blizzard has been doing to, I don't know, make this mode less fun, I don't really know, is that just two days ago, these electrocutional panels, whatever, they didn't really use to do any damage to me. And now Blizzard has like hotfixed the way your gear interacts with your environment and enemies. And now these things almost foreshot me. So um, like, yeah, I know you're supposed to, you know, run over them and don't get hit it at all but I'm really really bad with jump and run puzzles in any other game and especially in World of Warcraft so that's not really something I'm capable of in general so uh, yay Thank you for that blizzard. <laughs> and also in all of my questing, I completely forgot to also kill Arcweaver Yorguva. Wait, where is Arcweaver Yorguva? Oh, he's down there. Alrighty. Then we have a little bit more running in front of us, but what else is new? The dailies on the Thunder Isle are exactly the opposite of the dailies in Tolbarat. If you are a Cataclysm Classic fan, or if you like me, just like old content, the Tolbarat dailies in, you won't believe it, Tolbarat, are one of my all-time favorites because they're smooth, they're nice, they never really get boring and you get rewarded with a cool tabard that also teleports you to the Isle of Tolbarat every four hours if you want to. And on the other hand, the Thunder Isle dailies are, uh, I mean, they're not bad, like I don't hate to do them. Quite the opposite, I really like being here, I love the Thunder Isle, but this back and forth to camp and back outside again is, uh, is uh, it, it grows old quite quite quickly. For that we have our beacon and I'm happy to announce that male characters also get that sweet sweet transmog from the trading post and don't as always get a really weird cut down version of it. So yay to that one. More of that blizzard. Thank you. And while I'm just waiting for my group to kill all the mobs and the trash and the boss because I'm not really doing much anyway let's be honest here. We can also take a look at my current transmog which is is a very fast ordeal because this is basically just the shaman set from Ice Crown Citadel, the 25 version of it. And this one also has a version with a skirt, but as you know, I'm a pants boy, so pants it is. I think I think the pants drop from the trash and not from one of the bosses, so watch out there. And you won't believe it, my weapon is simply just one of the Doomhammer appearances from Legion. And that one is definitely from finishing your order hall campaign. So this is not the normal Doomhammer, but the one you have to do a little bit of questing for. And also some extra stuff to unlock the different color variants, of course. But that's it, a very easy 
easily farmable transmog that in my humble opinion looks amazing especially on an orc but honestly on any other race as well because wrath of the lich king was simply amazing and i kind of have to applaud galakras to be i think the only fight that can bring down the zooming of the mist of pandaria remix raid groups to an absolute snail's pace simply because you cannot rush this boss fight this boss fight takes forever because you have to take over these two towers and nothing has changed that so uh good on you galakras good on you and also the more i think about the legendary cloak for remix the more annoyed I get by it simply because I don't like the way they've been continuously stripping my boy Rathian of all the great accomplishments he's been doing for us and with us over the course of his character progression in World of Warcraft and this is just another slap in the face and uh, I, I don't like that don't really like that and especially during Pride Month what the hell Blizzard is kind of rude just gonna say I think we have to scrap soon guys but unsure and we're back to the zoom in oh but the gate is still open well <laughs> that's smart on you blizzard because i remember back in the day when this was current content i was running lfr with a friend and only me him and the tank that pulled made it into the boss room and um let's just say it was a very 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 long fight luckily my death knight was completely over geared for lfr i was just in there to help said friend and my friend healed his little butt off and i think we i think we managed to kill the iron juggernaut just before the end rage timer because everyone else was just locked outside or dead oh and we also oh we got transmog for once what did we get oh yeah i mean yeah true i i'm not done with gathering the raid finder set of this one so it's kind of neat that i'm getting all the pieces here because i really like this set in general but i also really like the coloration i like what they have going on with the uh oh what kind of green is that like a turquoise fun fact if you do the nihilotha visions of nazoth and you're running through orgrimmar then in one of these cages is your future self or your past self i don't remember but you're definitely in here and you're crying and i don't think you can free yourself but i can free these guys come out come out man doing this raid with an actual group i mean it's only lfr but hey still really brings back memories i think this was one of my most active raiding days in mr Fendaria in general but it's Especially Siege of Orgrimmar. Yo, wait, what? I can learn tailoring in Orgrimmar? Wait, do you think the leather working trainer is also here? No, it's closed up. Wait, 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 wait. Can I? Oh my god, I can learn tailoring. <laughs> Get absolutely demolished remix. <laughs> All right, that's really funny. I mean, I don't know what I'm gonna do with tailoring because the only materials that I can get are a few wind wool cloth if I fish a lot and get one of these sealed crates. Man, can't wait for them to hotfix this because yeah, for some reason, they just hate the fact that we could do professions. And then they're surprised that people are doing nothing but grinding up their cloak. I mean, what else are they supposed to do? There's simply nothing you can do in this mode once you're done with all the questing, that is. It never felt very good to kill General Nasgrim. I mean, it's better than what they did with Admiral Taylor, because Admiral Taylor just has a garrison where he gets killed off screen in Wallace of Draenor, and you just see his ghost, and you can also see his ghost in Oribos of all places. Alrighty, but while we're waiting for Nalak to spawn, I'm going to unravel a few of these threads that we have gathered and get a lot of this stuff and also probably get a lot of stamina buffs for my cloak because if there's one thing that i haven't gotten at all it's agility or yeah experience gains for some reason you can also still get experience gains and i don't really understand why that's the case but i bet there is an amazing reason for that <coughs> was that all i think so let's get scrapping then and now that we're done with the scrapping let's also put together a few more of these stones and like yeah i absolutely agree this keeps the inventory very nice and tidy or at least it would if it 
can also be choked full with stuff that you don't really need. Or that could have a better place. But the cool thing is, these things are not soul bound, so you can definitely just send them to an alt if you want to. Oh yeah, and for all my wolf fans out there, this set also goes along beautifully with the headguard of the Twisted Elements from one of the Corcoran Shaman sets from the Mist of Pandaria remix. If my face wouldn't be so gorgeous, I would definitely mock it. You know, in a just world, I could just try and smog these bunny ears the entire year. And not just during, I think, two weeks of Noble Garden. Oh boys, he's here. Alrighty, let's do some dailies for the August Celestials, which uh, I had a very funny bug with yesterday. And when I say funny bug, I mean, um, I did all of my dailies yesterday. Then I got an LFR invite. I accepted it, came back, and all of a sudden, all of my quests were not even not done anymore. They were just gone from my quest log and I returned to a lot of quest givers just offering me blue exclamation marks again. So that was fun. Also, wait, can I just heal them up? Yeah, I can. Okay, that makes this a lot easier. Wait, I can heal them. Oops. Yeah, I can also press the wrong button. <laughs> I can also just kill them with the sundering, of course. That's also possible. And also, how about a selfie? Hey, turn around. Monsieur. Okay, you wanna look that way? All right, then you look that way while I'm trying to fit you into my uh, into my picture. Oh wait, ah, oh, I hate this. Oh my God, boom. Now you're an internet personality. You're gonna make this guy famous. And we're zooming through the trading post right now. Would be a lot cooler if the reward wouldn't be a toy. I suppose, but hey. And also, let's fly over here to the Timeless Bazaar. So I can hand in my other quests. The bow. Well, that was a very successful grind, I'd say. Like, honestly, I don't even know what I'm supposed to do with these speed sockets. I just create them because I don't like having pieces of these gems just lying around. But also, I could scrap them. But I don't know if the scrap ratio is so good. And what if I need them? I wouldn't know why, but... And after trying my hardest to kill a few rare mobs that immediately died as soon as they spawned because people were around that just one shot everything. I think I'm gonna end this episode right here and now. As always, I thank you so much for watching. I hope this is just as much fun to you as it is to me to just do a few of the daily stuff in the remix. I gotta be honest, we're probably gonna do a few more quests here and there and I'm gonna show you some stuff that I like to do in the remix but I think soon we're also gonna do some retail stuff again because like I already feared there is not that much to do in the remix. And whoop, if I'm just sitting around trying to do my outro, something has to attack me. <clears throat> Which doesn't mean that there is nothing to do here. Like I said, I think we will always find something to do in the remix as well. I'm just saying it's not gonna be everything on this channel from now on. But with all of that being said, as always, if you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like or a comment. It helps and I appreciate it so much. And also, if you haven't subscribed yet, maybe consider doing that as well. And... I will hopefully see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.